Okay, um, I'm cleaning this mess because that's what happens when you do one build and you make a mess and you do another build and you make another mess and it keeps compounding. So I'm trying to get the the workshop short, sorted out. Uh, but I wanted to show you something before I carry on with what I'm doing. And there's some discussion about it here and there. Uh, I'm missing one thing. And that's it. Okay, so take a look at this. It is a well-known fact that the lock rings on the lenses of the Runcam Micros are crap. So what happens is that they are so tiny that they snap. Sometimes they snap simply because you hit something, the minor, the most minor thing, and they'll snap. Oftentimes, if you if you're like me and make them really tight, they'll snap just you know tightening them on. And sometimes you make them really tight, and the first thing you clip in the air. Boom, it goes, and then you start, you're flying, and you see like the lens completely starts going out of focus until you can't see anymore. Um, and the problem is that if you look at a bigger camera, if I can find one in this mess. So this one here has like a double ring. It's like much more plastic on it. And then there's the older style even that I believe I have on a Runcam Swift Mini here, which you guys are probably used to. Oh, this one's the same ring. Anyway, the old um, HS1177 is like the uh, foxier version. They, they look like crappy plastic, but they actually hold up pretty well. But the ones on the Runcam Micro, they're just way too darn soft. And I believe this one snapped as this. Let's see. I'm not even sure. Point is, I had to change it twice. I see online people discussing all the time. Oh, um, where can I find the, the these rings? I want to buy some more. And you see them posted lately. But the, honestly, the uh, the secret to fixing the problem is metal. So I know a lot of guys. A couple of guys have been posting about the fact that they found a good replacement for it, and that is. This one's actually all right, but that's what I'm gonna show you. So I ordered these from a company called Newark, I think. I'll put the link in the description so you can get them. And I just got them the other day. I haven't even opened the package yet. So we are going to test them right away. Hopefully they fit. So it's these uh, little nuts, they're metal. Kind of heavy, but they're still not gonna be heavier than this thing. So we're gonna test them right away and see if they work. Let's take this little ring off. Okay. And we'll put this on, hopefully this screws on. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So, With this thing on, I'm gonna have to refocus this later, but the point is that there you have it. Not only does it look cool, I guarantee you'll destroy the camera before that nut breaks. There's one more thing I wanted to try. So, again, check the link in the description for where to order these. Unfortunately, these are ordered from an industrial company, and these people are used to big orders, so they charge a lot for shipping. So normally for this, we pay like first class. Well, it was six bucks for shipping, but it's because one of the industrial companies that just are used to big, big orders, not tiny orders like this. But still, I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that I have a couple spares because there was no point in paying $6 shipping to order two nuts. But there's one thing I wanted to try that I've been curious if it works. And I haven't tried it yet. And crazy old me is gonna try it right in the ca on camera. This is not scripted, by the way. So let's see. Nah, I don't think this is gonna work. But these are the nuts that come with the SMA connectors, and they look to be around the same size. Let's see. And no, not even close. 
Alright, so these don't work. So, forget I said anything. So these are the ones you want. 